Well, the community of Galt today is celebrating a very popular Mexican, oh, went the wrong way, a Mexican, uh, not only tradition, but also holiday. Holiday with a lot of food, fun, and a whole lot going down. Molly Real joins us live with a preview of uh, Dia de los Muertos festivities. Hi there. Hi there. Yeah, we're at the Galt Cemetery. And you know what, Dia de los Muertos, what a beautiful way to honor and celebrate and remember those we have loved and lost, right? Uh, we have a full day of celebration today, kicking off with a mass at 9, and then there will be live music. You can see some vendors already setting up some delicious food. Um, but, you know, this is the fourth year that the Galt Cemetery has put on this Dia de los Muertos. And the reason they started is pretty beautiful. Sylvia, I'll have you come over. Uh, but no, don't be sorry. This is Belinda and Sylvia. So, Sylvia, tell me how, how you started this particular celebration at the Galt Cemetery. So, my son passed away in 2017, and I actually started working here at the beginning of 2018. And um, I had brought it up to Belinda, asking her if that's something that we would able we would be able to do here. Um, and she went with it, and ever since then, it's you know her very first year. She was very amazed of the turnout, how everybody came out here. Um, so we've been, every the community has embraced it and it's just gotten bigger and bigger and we, uh, Belinda's all for it. So it just makes it so much easier. Yeah, and Sylvia, I am so sorry for your loss, but you were saying this is the most important holiday for you. It's so special for you to get to keep your son's memory alive. Yes, so yeah, like I said, you know, off air, to me, Dia de los Muertos is the most important holiday for me now because, I mean, obviously besides Christmas and stuff, but. Um, it's just a, a different, it, there's so much meaning to it now. It's, it's different because, you know, I'm bringing him, you know, I get to bring out all his favorite food that he had and everything. So it's, it's very special to me. Yeah, and for those of you at home who have lost someone, you are welcome to come out here and celebrate and remember them too. Belinda, you have so many activities going on today. Tell us about it. Um, we have mass at 9 o'clock. Um, we have mariachis coming. We have the Aztec dancers coming. Um, Ballet de Florico. Florico. Yes, Ballet de Florico. Um, they're coming. Um, Father will bless the altars. The Aztec dancers bless the altars. The mariachis wander the cemetery. It's just really, really cool. Very special. Now, I want to point out a couple things here. This is an altar for those who have been lost in the past year who are here buried at the Galt Cemetery. Over here is a community altar. You are welcome to come bring your photos and uh, your offerings. And then over here, you're also allowed to set up your own altar or a friend. Uh, so, Yasmin, this is this is a special altar you have for your lost loved one. Yes, it is. This is for my nephew, Michael, my grandma, my husband's grandma, and my grandpa. Beautiful. So again, if you are hoping to, you know, hold on to those memories, keep those loved ones alive, this is a beautiful way to do it here at the Galt Cemetery. And uh, Dia de los Muertos is November 1st and 2nd, so these altars will be back on those days as well. Um, but come on out and remember those you love. I love that. Yes. I love that. Thank you so much for mm -hmm. sharing. For bringing the Iron